What are we going to do today? Today we're going to be painting on some shoes. Now we've all seen Mariah Elizabeth paint on shoes. Her shoes always turn out amazing and my kids wanted to give it a try. Will the result be as amazing as Mariah? Let's find out. So the next step is we have to start taping our shoes. This is my least favorite part of this project. And I might need help, but... <laughs> All right, so let's start. I'm gonna let go from here because this is the thickest part of the sole. Two thousand years later. Next part is painting the shoes. Now I'm going to do basically almost the same exact design as on here. But let's make it a little more interesting. Okay, so let's start painting. This is a bench. Whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just put my hand through so it wouldn't be like flopping all around. Red slash hot pink. And I'm almost done with it, with the first layer, because this is not looking the best. But, that is the first layer of red. I always try to not mix with the paintbrush, but this is actually very similar to the, the original orange that was on this shoe. <sighs> now that is, I think we are done with the orange. I'm going to just put the little edges on here. Don't tell me why I have so much yellow paint. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't really know how to fix that, so I'm just going to go in with it. To look really close, just to make sure you don't be messed up. And I know that I said I was going to blend the colors, but whenever I see Blending, I always see like they they wait they wait for the paint to dry and then they add thin coats of the same color on to blend the colors. The way that I that I used to blend, I just take a wet paintbrush and I just put it on the line between the two colors I want to blend. But the way that most people blend colors is they take thin layers of each color and put it on top of that color, but that makes it a, a much longer. Look at that beautiful blend. Okay. Time for green. Luscious green. I feel like that's a pretty good blend. Okay, I say so myself. Okay. Next color is blue. 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 Now this is a much different color than the original color. But I think I like it more. Okay. Now blue. Let's paint that on. And I am doing this in acrylic paint, if you didn't already guess. But um, if uh, you paint shoes and you do it with fabric paint, please don't get mad at me. I haven't painted a lot of shoes before. I've painted like probably two pairs of shoes. Now that is a wonderful blend. I feel like it's much better now. All right, so I'm gonna be using this folk art gold paint, and I love this color. That gold trim is done, but I do want to do some more because there's still trim in the back. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add a line right between here. I feel like there should be more gold, so. But I think I'm going to take a break once I am done with this shoe because I am getting a bit hungry and I haven't had 
breakfast yet. Okay, so I'm almost finished. I just need to outline this rainbow in gold. Lots of gold. Can't have too much gold. Okay, so I'm done with the first shoe. Here is the first shoe. We're ready to start painting the second shoe, but we also have a new participant. Brother has joined the fun and will also be painting his own shoe. So let's get to it. Brother, how are you coming along? Good. <laughs> nice, nice. Gold on it. Yeah. If shoes have gold on them, you run faster, you know. That's not true. Oh. Well, here's the finished product. I think they did an excellent job. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.